Hello, this is Panzer Technology Services Company. Welcome to Solar Energy Class. Today we are going to look into panel connection. On panel connection, there are two types of connections: the series connection and the parallel connection. Good. But I want us to focus on each one by one. And let's begin with the series connection. Because when you run a parallel connection, it has its own result, and when you run a service connection, it has its own result and it will be better. So before we combine it, let's begin with one and know what it gives us. Today, this is the service connection. Let's have a consideration uh, using a particular set of panels. The panel I use here is 100 watts panel. So depending on the company configuration, okay, the panel here has a, a 17.9 volt and 5.72 amps so on your panel what you consider is the voltage and the amperage okay that's a good, a good voltage that's what it gives you when you run every connection so when you connect this panel in service what i mean by connecting in service when you connect in service means linking the other positive terminal to another negative terminal or to a different panel together i get what i'm saying good Following what is on the board, you can see that when you connect this positive terminal to this negative terminal, you have run a series connection, remaining this terminal and this terminal. So you bring this terminal and this terminal. Okay. So looking at the uh, the result of what we have here, you can see that the total voltage. Okay. This is the volt and this is the amp. Okay. And this is the watts. I you know what I'm saying. So, so the total voltage is what. You multiply because when you run a series connection, you increase the voltage. You know what I'm saying? When you run a series connection, you increase the voltage. When you run a parallel connection, you increase the amperage. But we are not dealing with parallel connection, we are dealing with series connection right now. So the total voltage here is what at 5.8 volts. So for the current, the current remains the same when you run a series connection. The current remains the same. Okay? Good. Now the total voltage, the total power here, the power is I considering the Ohm's law, okay? But on a Lehmann's language, you use a very simple formula, which is wax equals to V times A, okay? The V here is the voltage, Y the A here is what? The amperage. You can see that here. Okay, now, so when you run that calculation, when you multiply it, multiplying the voltage to the current, okay? To get the power or the wattage, it gives you what? 205. That is it's supposed to be 204 on approximation, okay? Because 205. But based on the panel configuration, because some panel will not give you exactly 17.9. Depending on company production, some company will not give you this 17.9. There are some company that their 100 amps was panel is below this, okay? So there are some company that when you run this calculation, exactly is going to give you 200 watts. Okay, there are some company based on their production, how effective and efficient their panel is, it gives you above 200 watts. I hope you get what I'm saying here. If you me, if you have a question, don't forget to comment, ask me the question. For more information, like this page, follow us on TikTok, follow us on YouTube, follow us on Facebook, Panzer Technologies. See you in the next class.